First Contact Tuesday, January 28, 1975 to 34 p.m. First Introductory Conversation Verbatim Reproduction as far as remembered Sam Yeh says, You are a fearless human being. Billy says, I have learned to overcome fear and become objective. Sam Yeh says, I know. We have been studying you for years. Billy says, that's nice, and why? Sam Yeh says, because through you we want to clarify some things. Billy says, isn't anyone else suited for that purpose? Sam Yeh says, certainly. But we've kept an eye on you because you have been preoccupied with these problems for thousands of years within other personalities and because you think can act in a real and honest way, and because you have already frequently carried out such a mission in your former lives, even though for us, great mysteries surround this fact. Billy says, thanks for the flowers, Kalak. German for compliments. Sam Yeh says, do not mention it because you have earned it on your own merit. Billy says, fine, but who are you, really? Sam Yeh says, just call me, do, in formal German, you, as I also do with you. Billy says, thanks, but who are you? Sam Yeh says, I am called Sam Yeh and I come from the Pleiades. Billy says, from the seven stars, the seven sisters? Sam Yeh says, certainly. Billy says, a nice excursion, I must say. How did you do that? Perhaps through hyperspace? Sam Yeh says, your knowledge is often greater than we might like at times. Billy says, why? I can keep quiet and I am not a blabbermouth. Sam Yeh says, I am aware of that. For this reason your knowledge is in the right place. I and all the others are therefore not worried about that. Billy says, Why have you obstructed my way to your ship? Is it because of the film in my camera? Would it have been destroyed? Sam Yeh says, Definitely. I want you to have at least the photographic proof. Billy says, I see. I shall go public. But how will I arrange that? Sam Yeh says, You shall and later I will explain the way. Billy says, good, but isn't it somewhat dangerous to leave your ship on the ground so openly in case other people pass by? Sam Yeh says, don't worry because we have seen to it that nobody else can come closer than a 500 meter 550 yard radius. Besides, the beam ship is visually protected by the forest and the hills. Billy says, then I will be the only one included in this meeting? Sam Yeh says, yes, and you know why? Billy says, I understand unfortunately. Sam Yeh says, even though you regret it, it cannot be helped now nor in the future. Billy says, I understand. My dear fellow men. Sam Yeh says, certainly. Their spiritual consciousness related, cognitions follow the wrong paths. But you have made the effort and have learned. You have already found the truth many thousands, indeed millions of years ago within other personalities and assimilated the knowledge. This is why you stand out from the great masses of human beings on earth, and this is our reason for choosing you. Billy says, you always say, we. Does that mean that? Sam Yeh says, certainly. I already mentioned that you often know more than we would like. Please keep quiet about this. The truth is difficult enough for human beings as it is. Billy says, I have never possessed this knowledge and, consequently, I can say nothing about it. Sam Yeh says, you could word it that way, and I know that you will keep it quiet. I know you would even deny the whole event and call it fantasy if anyone should try to force you to speak. Billy says, you really know me thoroughly. Sam Yeh says, because of this and many other reasons and predeterminations, we have selected you. But now enough questions and answers. Listen very carefully now to what I have to say. Write down everything and tell the public about it. 
but in a different way than when you carried out your mission in previous lives. Billy says, how can I do that when I have nothing here to write on? I also don't have a tape recorder or anything like it. Sam Yeh says, do not worry about that, you can write it down later. First I will explain everything to you so you have an overview. Besides, it is easier for me to contact you later when I can transmit the thoughts to you so you can write everything down word for word very precisely. Billy says, are you thinking of the same method by which you brought me here? Sam Yeh says, you are really very knowledgeable and a critter to us. Billy says, thank you. Sam Yeh says, all right then. Please listen now and only interrupt me when you really do not understand something. Sam Yeh's Explanations 1 For some time now we have had the urge to contact a human being on Earth who sincerely and concretely wants to help us in our mission. 2 We have often tried to do this before, but the selected human beings were neither knowledgeable nor willing enough, and often lack sincerity and loyalty as well. 3. But those we could have selected for our endeavors were afraid and remained silent about our coming. 4. They insisted they would be accused of being in sin and of lying, and that attempts to harm them might be made through official and foolish human intrigues. 5. Instead, many boastful individuals have appeared who claim to have contact with us and even to have flown in our beam ships. 6 but they are nothing but charlatans and frauds who sun themselves in dubious glory and want to profit from it. 7. Human beings on Earth have entire organizations that preoccupy themselves with the reconnaissance of our beam ships, but they possess very few items that are truly authentic. 8. They are in possession of many photographs that depict nothing more than some lights and light images of natural origin or quite intentional falsifications. 9. Only very few of these photographic proofs are authentic and truly show our beam ships. 10. Most photographs are only montages or photographic forgeries manufactured by frauds and charlatans whose names have since become famous worldwide. 11. Their subsequent books and written manuscripts only demonstrate a wicked deceit for purposes of showing off or of charlatanry. 12. By the same token, many people have the audacity to link us to human religions. We have nothing to do with religions nor do we ever want to have anything to do with them. 13. Not even your so-called sectarians refrain from this step, deceiving their fellow men with religious beliefs. 14. These infamous and primitive machinations should be stopped before the whole world falls into their grip. 15. Were these frauds and charlatans really linked and also in contact with us, or had they been, we would have offered them an opportunity to obtain very clear photographic proof of your beam ships. 16. But because they are dishonest individuals, we have not given them this chance. 17. As evidence of this truth, we gave you the opportunity to take sharp pictures of one of our beam ships. 18. In addition, we will give you other opportunities to obtain even better and sharper photographic evidence. 19.